surge in plant-based innovation and policy change is sweeping the globe. Join us as we share some of the best news from October and November. Denmark is setting the precedent for transformative change by releasing the first national action plan for plant-based food production. Acknowledging the critical role of plant-rich diets in achieving climate goals, the strategy encompasses the entire supply chain, from farmers to chefs, emphasizing culinary training and plant-based meals. This shift could generate 1.2 billion USD for Denmark and create a whopping 27,000 jobs. In London, Lambeth has become the first borough to endorse the plant-based treaty, pledging to increase accessibility to healthy plant-based food through council events, school-based activities, fruit and veg vouchers for vulnerable households, and community gardens. This makes them the 22nd municipality worldwide to endorse the call for a global plant-based treaty, joining Hayward's Heath, Norwich, and Edinburgh. Over in the Big Apple, New York City's mayor has signed the Plant-Based Treaty Proclamation, calling for a fair and accessible plant-based food system. The world's oldest and largest animal welfare charity, the RSPCA, has finally voted for kindness on their plates. At this year's annual general meeting, 76% of RSPCA members voted for fully plant-based catering at RSPCA-hosted meetings and events. Now, we wait to see if the board will act on this majority vote. Looking to East Asia, South Korea is setting the table for change with their own action plan, dedicated to boosting local plant-based food production and encouraging alternative protein consumption. As these products become increasingly popular among 20 and 30 year olds, the Korea Institute for Rural Economics estimates that the plant-based substitute market could reach 207.4 million by 2026. Data released by the UK government relays a heartening shift in Britain's meat consumption, showing the lowest meat consumption at home last year than at any point since 1974. This marks a 14% decline from 2012 as well as a 26% decrease in mammal flesh consumption and an 11% decrease in chicken and all other meat product consumption. Encouragingly, the Ontario government in Canada has granted Lactalis Canada $1.4 million to convert their dairy facility into a premium non-dairy plant-based facility, allowing them to expand their plant-based offerings. In November, students at the University of Warwick voted to adopt 100% plant-based catering for the 2027-2028 academic year, and 50% by 2024. Which story was your favorite? Did we miss any good news? Let us know in the comments below.